Okay, I'm going to now show you how I'm going to mark an electronic test on Google Classroom. I'm going to go into my Google Classroom. Under classwork, I have set up a test. This one, Life Sciences Test Term 2. There's a Google form attached to it. I'm going to go into the Google form. And I am going to then click on responses. I want to review the individual tests. So I'm clicking on individual. I've done the first few already, so I'm going to go to one of them that I haven't done already. So I haven't marked this one yet. Some of these responses were marked electronically already because I've set it up that way, but it was not possible to do all the questions in such a manner. So I'm checking the questions that are marked wrong to see if they might be correct, if I might not have included um, or my an answer that should have been in my under my answer feedbacks so far all looks good I can also add an individual feedback if I want to give the learner some feedback on what they've answered Okay, now this is all well and fine. Let's go to the next learner. You can see those answers were more correctly. Answers were marked correctly. where it was a wrong answer. I'm just double checking and making it a zero instead of a missing mark. So that was a zero out of one over there. You can see at the bottom of the screen, it asks me just to save the edits that I've done. I'm gonna save them after I've done a few edits. I save every time. That is a wrong answer over there, so I'm just making that a zero. No answer given, that's a zero. No answer given, zero. Wrong answer there, so I'm just, it is definitely a wrong answer, so I'm also making that a zero. Over here. Okay, now this could be a correct answer, so I'm going to make that a one out of one. I'm reading this through this answer, and yes, that is a correct answer. I'm making it a one out of one. Correct answer, I'm making that one out of one. The computer didn't mark that. I'm going to now save the edits and just review those ones I've just changed. And you will see now that it is now accepting it as correct answers.
I'm going to accept that as a correct answer. Yes, it's already accepting as a correct answer. That's a correct answer over there. No, light is the limiting factor here, yes, so no, that's incorrect. So give that a zero. Almost finished with the paper. That is a correct answer. So I'm giving this person two marks. It didn't pick up um, that that was a correct answer. And there's no pile attached here, so I'm giving a zero to that one. Saving all my edits. The person now has 32 out of 50 marks. I'm releasing their score. And it will send that person an email with their score and any feedbacks that I have given them.